And our generation has been targeted ruthlessly since day one, since we were first conceived. The importance of a camp like Friends for Life is that we train students not only what to believe on the pro-life issue, but why they ought to believe it. If you are identical to your former fetal self, if you are intrinsically valuable now, what were you back then? We understand that students are pro-life, and we also understand that that generation will be uh, the generation that wins this fight for life. Friends for Life has really helped me uh, because it equips me with different arguments, um, and it shows me how to refute different objections to those arguments. I have an obligation like, to sort of stand up for them because they can't speak for themselves and just being a Christian, I just feel like it's my obligation to do as much as I can to try to help them. As I got older, I kept thinking, what can I do? Is there something I can do? And so I would pray, I would say this prayer, I'd say, God, use me. Use me to make a difference. Lila Rose and her speech had a really big impact on me because I just thought it was so cool how from a young age, she saw that it was wrong and she did something about it. We are seeing young men and women who have come to the camp in positions of significant influence in the pro-life community, in the public sphere right now. One is now a legislative assistant for Congressman Marlon Stutzman, and he's in charge of pro-life uh, issues that Congressman Stutzman is involved in. A lot of the information and the early training that he got at one of our first camps, he's using now as an assistant to a congressman in Washington, D.C. I thought it was important to be here today because um, being a leader of a very large student group of Purdue University, I wanted to have, be equipped with the tools uh, to argue the pro-life argument. My daughter helped start a Teens for Life type of group, a pro-life group, amongst her middle school and high school friends this year. We have another student who started as a student, became the camp director, and now has moved on to be uh, literally a uh, missionary for the pro-life issue at college campuses across the country. The argument here is that a mother has no more duty to her own offspring than she does a total stranger, right? But do we really believe that? What, what we're trying to do is give them translatable skills of thought, tools they can use to reach friends with the pro-life message, so that when they go back to school, they're not victims, they're victors. I really like Scott Klusendorf's lecture on substance, uh, the substance view of persons. He lets us uh, participate in the discussion and uh, he helps us to think through the objections and the different arguments. Scott Klusendorf is the premier trainer for students um, in the country. He literally goes across the nation um, to college campuses, high school campuses, and informs students uh, about how they can defend life. I, I just think it's so cool that he's so equipped with that and he can go out there and debate and know what he's talking about. And I think I, it just makes me want to get to know more and learn more about it so I can do that. Is Uncle Jed before the coma identical to Uncle Jed during the coma? We have several group sessions uh, where the, the students gather together to hear a speaker. We have breakout sessions that address a specific area of the, the pro-life cause. Um, we also have opportunities for the students to interact with one another. We think that's important for them to understand that they're not the only ones that are pro-life in their age group. Well, as a parent, I'm thrilled that an organization like Allen County Right to Life makes this available, this opportunity available for my teenagers because so often uh, our young adults today aren't prepared with the tools to defend their pro-life views. Content from Scott and Lila Rose uh, is just uh, invaluable. I realized that we should be having more students from across the state come to this because it's a great experience. We want every student, regardless of ability level when they come here, to leave 
confident in the pro-life position. Kids come to church youth groups, but are they taught how to believe what they believe? Are they taught why their Christian worldview matters? Especially on an issue like this, where we're talking about abortion, embryonic stem cell research, they need the tools of thought to do that, and the Friends for Life campus is the place to get that done.